Hello everyone. Uh, my name is Khalid Hussain. I am Microsoft Certified Trainer. In today's video, uh, we will go up with the Active Directory Management with Windows PowerShell. How we can manage our AD objects, especially in uh, Windows Server 2012, 2012 R2 and Windows Server 2016 like that. Here is with me Nasreen Hasani. <coughs> Nasreen, please introduce yourself. Hello everyone. I'm Miss I'm Hassani. I'm Microsoft Consultant and Program Manager. Thank you. And uh, now we will go up with the, our uh, subject. And uh, I will come up with a Windows Server 2012 bar 2, which is our uh, base platform for working. And now we will go up here. I will show you. Here is our specification of this server. Here is Windows Server 2012 R2, a version with data center. Now we having a domain controller. Now we need to create AD objects firstly, and then we'll uh, move up with uh, more operations, more things with Windows PowerShell. Especially, I will go up with this. Here is our chance. We will study user object commands, uh, user management, computer management, groups creation, group management, organizational unit management. And here is a some object creation system uh, we will create firstly how to create organizational units and what kind of organizational unit we need in organization. Your organization hierarchy is on depends upon your uh, hierarchical, stru hierarchical structure, how we distribute, how segregate our uh, management system. <clears throat> Here is our Active Directory user and computer interface. Here is our domain. We can create organizational units. It seems like the departments in one organization, like its IT department, like its administration department, like its management department, like its marketing or the finance. We will go up with the different departments and try to manage the things with the best way. Here is the options available to create organization unit. In organizational unit, I will just show up here. We can write the random name, any desired name for this. And this is a protection check for accidental deletion. We can protect our AD objects from accidental deletion. If we check, this will protect it. If we uncheck, this is unprotected. We can do it later also. There is no problem. But I want to go with PowerShell. Here is, <coughs> we will create firstly a new dash AD organizational unit IT I will put the condition here is dollar sign true here is a true if this is we put the true and then this will be a protection is applied if we put it onto the false <clears throat> this will this protection is not applied to our organization unit so i put it on the trio side and this is our commandlet for creating organization unit here we go we will check it either this will work for us yes nice it's working fine and i will check from organization unit it is created now i will move up with the same command I copy this command and I go up here. I just rename to the MKT marketing department. Here we go. And I will do it again. Here is it's working fine for us. And now I will create another organizational unit with the name of FN Finance. There we go. And we will create 
we can create a multiple organization units with the same line script there is no problem for us to worry about how to create the organization unit in our organization <coughs> now <coughs> we will move up here is our three departments and now i will create uh, new groups to manage our uh, users capacity policy security delegation we can uh, delegate the rights to the groups and we can use the bulk users in shape of the groups now we will move up with the groups here is a group type group creation interface we can write here and here is we need to study about the group scope here is the domain local global universal and group type group security type is security or distribution distribution just like for the email broadcasting and security we can apply the some security parameters so domain local what is difference between the scope domain local is accessible only in within this machine this server and global you can access this group across your forest and then universal you can access your group beyond your uh, uh, forest now uh, we will move up here is our three departments here is now we will move up with creation of uh, new groups like i have i want to create ad uh, group with the name of microsoft uh, pfelp and uh, minus uh, i will say the group scope what is the group scope here is three options available i want to create in the global you can create you can check and move every possible option according to your need and then it's go up global and then i again for the group category it's security or distribution i will go up with the security type and then i will path defining way here we go i want to create in the ou is equal to it comma domain controller microtext dc is equal to dot org <coughs> i want to reduce this path and then hopefully this will be shown up here here is here is our complete command for creation of ad groups we can do it by powershell same way and uh, in this our defined parameter this is for new this is a verb to create a, a any id object ad group we define the group type object type and then define the name and then group, uh, we put the group scope and group, group category and then paths will be defined where we want to create this group here we go we will check it done it now i will check in the it i refresh it here is a microsoft <coughs> in the same way i will create one group i will copy this and i will put it here is i just change the name in the mkt marketing organization unit i just go up over here i say that seo team search engine optimization okay now uh, search engine optimization users uh, i say are uh, okay now we will move up with this command and here is done it i go here and here is a seo user now we will create one group in the finance department these are the auditors or the collectors like this we will do it in the same way and i will go up here i will copy this and we need to just change department finance and here is we need to change the name i say that collectors now we will go up here here is here is the fine way to create here is collectors this is our the two tasks are completed accomplished does we any question about this now it's clear, it's clear. okay uh, now we will move up
with uh, more things to, uh, for the creation of uh, Active Directory users for our use and we will go up here with more PowerShell scripts and in the same way if you want to single user we can do it in the same way and uh, if we want to create here is a command for uh, our user I will create with my name uh, or I will create with the Hassani and the same same account name and then I say that Hassani and I say that uh, her name given name is I will copy this we need to just update this script as per our need so name is Hassani and uh, display name yes, any, and uh, we will go up here there we go we need to change our domain as this is our as previous work and uh, here this will be created in the organization unit uh, like I say that uh, your organization unit will be the marketing and department is the sales and uh, here we go it's clear now then I will try to do this here is it's created here is I refresh this here is the national user is created now and we will check the parameters we define that are accessible address account account type and the profile organization unit here is the department is the sales done it we did it now it's time to need a bulk user creation according to our need as i say i want to create a test user one so we did it and i remove this well i want to create the 20 users in our organization unit where i want to create in the it these are the test users we will create the 20 users each organization unit here is how to create this is a bulk user creation with the for each group in the same way there is a enabled users so I do it here the test user series 1 in the IT I will go up here I hope this work for us I go with the IT here is 20 users will be created now in the same way I will create I will create uh, more things here uh, here we go we will create the test user with the two series in the marketing department for our operation for our the next usage here we go we will go up here in the marketing department I will make the refresh here is the two series now I will go up in the same way here is uh, I will copy this and I will put it here I just go up in the finance department and now this will be the users with uh, three okay i will check it two okay done three it. three done it, done it. It. yes I, i'm going to in the three now we will go up here and here is our users in the finance department i will refresh this here is this is now created and now we will move up with the different users module for use groups how we can manage these things with perfect way in uh, using powershell uh, commandlets powershell scripts uh, i will clear this screen <coughs> now uh, before the <coughs> before this i want to show you how we can take the output of any command any script we can use a different ways here I will show you 
we can use the three uh, two switches for the output ft is equal to format table ft stands for format table and fl for the for your uh, format list in the verticals and ft for the horizontal so we can take the output with the two ways out dash uh, file as well as we can use a sign operator for uh, taking the output this is just for shown in the same window and this is for taking output of your desired script desired command desired uh, desired operation you can take up now we will move up <laughs> with uh, more things our first module user object commands or management we can get started with the things we will go step by step now i just go up here get dash ad user minus filter with the generic sign static i applied i will get it whole users here in the same window here is we can go up here and if i want to see only their names i can make uh, i can create a switch for this select name only and this will show us only the names here is here is all users if i want to take the output for this i go i can use a pipe sign out dash file i can take this output us dot txt means users i can go up with this here is and all users will be exported with their names here is all users lie in our environment here is we can take it take the output we can save that's a pretty good for us and now uh, don't worry about this we can go up with the same command i want to show you something more enhanced way and i will uh, go up here i will copy this here is here is if i if you want to find one user like administrator you can find one user here is no problem these all are attributes of object type object type object class is our user object guid object sid we can get up there is no problem at any point if i will go with the name selection i go for the comma i write here sid if this will show us only sid as well as object as well as uh, our object class name like test user one 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 two one one three here is a set if i want to take the output like object guid how will show us here is here we go here is all kind all, all object id guids so we can put any switch any selection any attribute selection it's a very easy just use a pipe sign this will pass your uh, uh, selection or your uh, query with the select switch and write your desired attribute name you can show up you can see about the specific user now i will move up with the next command list all users accounts in specific organization unit if you want to see here is i need to change my desired domain i want to see microtext.org here is my domain i will go up with this is a search base this is a switch for the query according to you can write here you can add the container you can add the group like that there is no problem i will go up here this will just show up us only the users only the users search base like this this is a ft if i use in the same way fl what it show us in the format of here is here is this is show us in the vertical mode and if you will use here is in the ft mode then this will give us okay done it here is another switch out dash grid view here is we can put it 
in the same window here is this will show us all the users here is all the users with distinguished name enabled or not enabled given name name uh, object class what kind of object class they having object QUID and uh, same account name and all their said available here okay now we will do it in the same way uh, for MKT I will show up here MKT in the same way grid view we will see the more parameters here is our one user Nasreen in the given name also same account name and in the same name here is uh, her uh, surname and here is a user principal name also so we can do lots of tricks in our output our display of information here is all kind of information displayed with a single command you can use you just switch your uh, your uh, methodology how you want to take the output you want to take the output with a format list you want to take the output with a format table out dash file or grid view <coughs> we can do it now i will set uh, one user city uh, in the our command in the our it department i say that i will set the properties i will go here organization unit address like city i will put it in the city lahore okay done it and i make this uh, refresh in the same way we can find like i say that i want to find the lahore users so i just need to update here is and I just need to refine this script get a user this is a filter switch and we will take the output according to CD this will find us oh no this is not working fine for us will do it another way I think this will work for us this is a passing error for us and we will see it <coughs> later uh, I think it's not a good behave uh, what 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 is okay we will move up with the more things Uh, we just need to re uh, define such base where we want to find in which domain we want to find our uh, uh, user any user with the specific attribute like city i just add the, uh, one user uh, with the city uh, name with the lahore i go up here i will show you in the properties in the address there is a city lahore i want to find it and uh, where is a user and i go here and I will find here is that's 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 okay fine I will show I just say that means to say I want to uh, select only a name a comma a city I will try this here is there is no output for the city and yes this is just take the output according to which user having the attribute like city lahore then this will um, going to do it here is here is our test user 11 having a 
attribute with the city of Lahore. So we want to see all search base disabled users, which are the disabled, who are the disabled. And uh, I will put it some users in my account in the disabled one I use it randomly disable here okay in the finance department disable okay and in the marketing department I will use one user with the disabled status and now we will do it this how this work for a search ad account which is a disabled user only here we go here is all the users who are the disabled we can show up but think that this is in the different organization unit different departments there is no need to worry about that this is a complete ad query beyond your organization unit this will look up on the whole forest <coughs> now <coughs> we uh, find the name that Nasreen where is as we name we will go up here given name we need to put again the search base direct to find refine our any any search query problem i will go up here here is this is given us name and i just have to i want to uh, select only name of that user we can get up here here is and if i want with the given name i can do it in the same way i just use a select switch with the pipe sign and i go up here here is here is and if i want to find any user with the last name you just use the static and so name here is you can go up here and i use the same switch with this and i go up with the same name <coughs> here is now <coughs> i want to move i want to say according to your department like i say that i put the department of nursery in with the <coughs> sales how can i find it i use the same way the switch slap switch and here is parameter department like sales there is in Search base here is in I, I find the sales attribute among all microtex domain. This give us a, only the name of that user. So I want to find the membership of Nestlein Group where she is member. Here is but I want to refine this with the same way. Here is a Microsoft and domain users. This is our assignment for the user management. We can use, we can do it, lots of stuff. If you want to disable any user, any any type, you want to go up like a test user 2.1. I want to say, I want to disable or enable this. Enable this. Get dash. Any user. Identity. Test user 21, just go the sign, go with the sign. You can disable AD account, just go up and you can see here we go. This user will be the disabled. I hope that 21, here is 21 is going to disable. We can enable via this, but I want to go with uh, enable with the same procedure any users you can go up here here is we will do some other things with uh, more refined way for the users in other location in other uh, part of our lecture here we go this user will be the enabled now i just refresh it go up here and here is this user is also enabled there is no for enable okay now this is our part of user management how we can create the users how we can manage according to their attributes now i will move up with the group a computer management i can find 
I need to find all user, all computer, any computers in my domain. I just go up here. Here is all kind of computers are available. If I want to go with the filter FT comment table, there we go. All the user, all the computer names, server one, two, three, four, five, like this. this these are all machines lie in my environment. And if I want to go with the file format list, here is the same way. If I want to just get the object IDs and the names of these computers, here we go. I can find, I can refine. If you want to take the output, you just go up with the out dash file, or if you want to grid view, you can go up with this. Here is, here is all computers with the object IDs. There is no problem. If you want to take the output, you can just use out dash file. You just specify the name where you want to reside your output. That's it. And now we will move up with view all computers logged in in 90 days with the time span. Search base inactive computers. We will find out. We will try to find out. I will use a switch here. Oh my God! Here is, here is. I just select their names. I use a pipe sign and use a query. Select names only. I will go here. Here is all the users, all machines I did not log in in last 90 days. This is the, these are the inactive, and uh, we can find out. With the same way oh okay now we will define here if we want to find restore the last login get date means 90 days late past we will go up here and get this output greater than here is i will go up with the same switch select names only we need to select names only here is only the server one is less than 90 days if i go with this plus sign this will show us and i need to define again and if i go with this this will show us with the more there is no no computer okay find all the disabled computers i need to create a one computer account new i will go up here is here is the computer i say that uh, like al1 and i click the ok and make it disabled here we go we need to find out this i will clear the screen from the previous commands and search this is a this is this is our computer disabled computer and this will sort out okay this will uh, find all computers which are the disabled we can use this command firstly to find and then to delete and I will go up here I will put it here the command now I will go here Select name. Here we go. Here is L1 is only disabled computer. We find out that. And if you want to delete all disabled computers, you can go up with this this command. Here we go. And this find the only one computer L1. Yes, I want to delete it. Yes, here is go. Now this will be gone. Deleted. Here is finish so we can delete we can set any disabled ad computer which reside in your environment you don't need that that is a disabled or you uh, at your employer gone left your organization and you can remove you can refine your active directory now we can find this on the this uh, on the search base like i say that where is I will find, I will create the two uh, uh, computer accounts in the different organization unit. 
I will say that AL1 again. Here is, and I put it onto the disable account. Now, I go to the marketing. I again create here new computer account like AL2. I go up here. I disable this. I hope that when we use okay disable when we use search base query according to your organization unit you can find only one no 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 i i don't want to delete this i just want to search firstly oh my god it's 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 uh, not computer i want to put the computers with the search base control c and i want to go here go here with that i will use the same search base control c here i will put it and this will select for us only from organization unit it now it's done for us so uh, if we want to if we add in the same way here is i will copy this and uh, i will go up here with the same thing i want to find out in our marketing department we go here here is al2 this is the different computer account in a different department if we want to see on whole we can go up here is l1 l2 there is the two computers are available so i will create a uh, i will say that one user is disabled uh here is i put it is keep in mind this is a test user 21 and uh, here we go we will find out this will find out in the it user only and uh, this will remove active directory user if we want to find out uh, in the same way i will copy this firstly we find out we will see our output and then we will go up i copy here here is i will copy this switch i go up here there we go here is the two test users are available with the disabled account i did not refresh this i will try okay now i will again run this command in the IT, I will change the MKT. What? Here is two one and two one seven. There is a disabled users. If I want to remove, I want to refine my organization unit. I just define that I I want to refine my organization unit or department uh, IT MKT. I want to remove all the disabled user accounts here is there is here is test user 113 yes i want to delete it test user 119 here is shown up and i will go up here okay then done it now i will check it again with the it either these users are the reside in a, my organization unit there is no output it's clean now now i will move up with for cleaning to our presentation unit here is marketing department and i will go up here this search for us test user 21 i want to remove this and the test user 217 again i want to remove this here is and now in the same way i check it that my use uh, presentation unit is cleaned by uh, with this command and here is there is no output so it's the best for us to clean our organization units, organizational unit refinement from all uh, unwanted data. So we can use any disabled user from whole Active Directory. Here is, this is no one user is disabled. We already refine and delete and remove our user according to our search based query. So we can do it and now uh, we will search such a users we will find no 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 this find just for i i want to i want to use i want to find the users uh, copy this 
and uh, here we go I want to find out search with the uh, select name I go up here and I will check which users are not logged in from the 90 days here is all users I did not log in uh, administrator and uh, just in the same way administrator is not shown sure because administrator is locked in within the 90 days so if you want to remove on the base of your days i will search here i think that i want to find the seven days only i hope this will give us the same output you can define if you want to find that in the last month, one month user account who did not logged in here, here is all kind of stuff. If you want to remove, you can remove on the basis of your days. Okay. Find out and delete the computer account from the specific OU. We did it already. There is no need to go with this command. Find out all delete computer and users no longer have signed up. Like we can define with the dates also. We can go up with this. Uh, now list of only disabled computers in our here is there is no computer only disabled computers. Uh, well, sorry, we removed the disabled users already. Here is the two computers lie in our system. Okay. Now, move the computer from one organization unit to another and other. I say that I want to move uh, CL1 by computer. I get it. CL1 or I will move EL2, EL1. I move this computer. Here is my computer, EL1. In the I will keep it enable. There we go. AL1. I want to move in this OU organizational unit. I want to apply the special permission on this. So I will go up with this command get dash ad computer AL1. And here we go. We will try to move this. Here is it's moved. Now we can find. We can find uh, get dash uh, AD computer AL one minus okay. I will try to do this. We will find here is AL one is now moved to this is distinguished name move to your i will find i will try to use this switch copy this here is here is here is here is here is now we can find out that our our computer is moved to the new organization unit in the same way we can move up any computer to any organization unit any department with a very quick way see user and computer and details like this if you want to find out the computer account computer account information here is all kind of informations are available here there is no problem if i want to filter out user what is this get it user I will use uh, the static test how many users are available here there is lots of users I just go up with the name I will use and dash there is there is no screen. There is no problem. It's a very easy to find out all the Active Directory users, every kind of information. Just to go up with your desired number and use a static uh, first and last on the both sides. We can find out 
the ad user according to your department here we go we can find out and now i want to find out here the properties of specific computer like this here is here is all kind of attributes of your computer there is these all are the attributes now we will go up here in here is this is a user attributes keep in mind this all are the user attributes we can use as a switches when created when changed user principal name every kind of stuff we can do it here is if i want to select like i want to say the name you can display it here is display name so we will go up with the more things here the list of the computers with name operating system service pack and operating system version we can find here all stuff here is all stuff all my machines are shown up with their operating system version operating system here is my five servers having the windows server 2012 r2 data center and the client windows 8.1 enterprise and available in my environment and i want to move here and somehow we can take the output as well there is no problem for us we can go up here and we will use the same command and uh, i just take use the operator sign for the output i want to take the output of our operating system here is so file here is all your informations are available there is no problem for us to sort out how many operating system we have in our environment according to their name operating system and as well as operating system version. So AL1 and AL2 is a just computer account. We did not uh, install any operating system on that. So it's a blank. So I will move up with the more things. Okay. Now we will move up if you want to find out any active directory computer with ip address and dns host name you can do it with this command here is here is here is and if you want to find out i see that if like we want to find out the server 5 here is server 5 if we want to find out like cl1 we can go up with this here is here is it's available for us there is no problem if we want to find out the specific like I want to find out uh, the computer accounts in specific unit so I need to microtext.org here is I need to find out in the AD computer in here is there is no computer lies and if I go with the computers, I will try this. There is no. Okay, where is? Okay, CN. That's that's, that's, not, that's not OU. That's it's marketing. Container. This is a container. And I will try to sort this. Here is. I will go up with this specific containers. There is a difference. OUs are created by and containers are built in and we can create containers also. There is no problem for us. Get all computers with the specific DNS name. I will go up here. Microtext.org. If we say that there is no, no other computer. If I use the same uh, command. Oh my god. There is. I control C and here I go. I just change that like. I use the switch like and here we go. Here is all computers are available, but I use here select switch with their names and here is here is all the computers are <coughs> available for us. 
<clears throat> I just use the static name like server one dot microtext.org, like server two dot microtext.org. Here is every kind of stuff available. Now I want to expand the server one with server principal name as pn names. Here is lots of service principal names. We can do it, we can use it, and here is if I want to with go with the three, then what it show us here is there is a server uh, names. So if I want to see all users with the said object, this is a repetition. We did it from the last. Okay. Now we will go up all computer account accounts that were created in the last 90 days. There we go. It means less than 90 days. There is only two means to say we freshly created l1 l2 that is less than if i go with the greater than then it will show us the more computers where is created distinguish name server name when created date we are find it okay now all computers accounts that were created here in the given time we will define that from the month of April, start date, there we go, end date, like we said that month 8, 1st August, and I will use this when created, which one, only the two computers, because all my computers are created more than the three months, we can find out here, and last password set, we can find with the same way, when the user's password setting here is only I change the service server 1, AL1 and AL2 in, in that duration, this duration, I did not change any other machine password when they created. All the computer accounts according to date, according to time, all the computer that password is last days, I say that I use a plus one. Here we go, means to say, and then I will try to get it. Here is all the computers are available. If I go with minus, and I need to define this variable, and I will get it again. Here is only just, just, just two, two computers left are not shown for us. This is our computer management. We can find out with the date, with the time, when created, last uh, password reset, disabled, able, enable, AD computers, every kind of stuff we can find here. Now we will uh, play with the groups and here is, we will go up with the all membership in Microsoft, here is only get the 80 membership which user having i want to find out which user having the group membership of microsoft here is shown us now i will go up with the properties of this group here is all kind of properties if i go with the same switch select name here is only microsoft i will select only microsoft name and uh, list only the universal groups lies in our environment there is i hope that here is i will use the same switch which are the universal groups with by name there is there is only schema admins enterprise admins enterprise read only domain controllers now i will try to find out in the same way with the global groups here is lots of global groups here is our groups microsoft su users and collectors when we created now we will go up with the domain local users and i use the same switch with this and i go up with here here is lots of things lots of users local users we can use so we will find 
authorization to the group like I will use administrator get AD account authorization group administrator what will do for us here is here is here is lots of things what permissions you assign to this user so I want to move move all uh, move a group to another OU uh, you want to move and uh, I will say I want to move Microsoft group having the old OU is IT new OU is equal to finance what is uh, your desired domain microtext.org and I will go up here with this I want to move OED object which is Microsoft and the new path new OU is equal to finance now seeing everything is going okay any question yes it's okay it's okay. okay it's okay now we will move up here we go there is no object found in the IT I will check it in IT there is a Microsoft security group uh, I think we will we need to use this parameter because this is the best way for us I just yes, use it but it. it's not working fine get your ready object get your ready group Microsoft move ready object target path is marketing or finance we can do it with finance and uh, we go up here and here is this is move to finance now we can check here is Microsoft it's the best way so we need to define this this only so with this is. with this command we, we don't need to, to to look where is the group just get it and move it yes 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 so nice and add the members to the group like I want to members uh, collector but we will try this And at price like this, I will say that I can copy test user three one user three one. There we go. I will try this, but it's not working. We need that. We need to find out. We use to this switch. We need to use this switch. I test user. 31 I want to add into the Microsoft like this I need to remove these command these are not working properly so we need to work on the refine way I will clean it now here we go get ad user 31 it will get it and for each add ad, AD group member in the Microsoft members which we are getting now I go up here here is I will check in the Microsoft. It is test user three one is added to new group. So, if you want get any user filter, if you want all users to be member of all users lie in the IT, you want to make the member of with Microsoft. Then go up here. Here is here is. I will go up here and members all IT organizational units all IT organizational units are the members of this group now for each identity Microsoft remove group if you want to remove all IT organizational unit members from the Microsoft you can do it here we go you want to all yes to all
there is I will check it there is no member of IT organization or unit here with us that's pretty cool for us now I will move up with the more commands if you want to delete any group you can go up SEO dash users I will go try this I will check this is a user in the marketing I uh, users okay I will go up here I will try this this you want to remove this yes cool now I will refresh this here is there is no SEO users you can remove any group now I want to remove the user in the same way test user 31 from specific one like member test user 31 I will try to remove this there we go now I will check in the finance there is the Microsoft and now there is no way there is no member available uh, test user 31 we remove one by one you can remove the single user as well now if you want to add description to any group you can do it I want to say I want to set dash Microsoft description this description is for I say that MS product okay now I will set up this to Microsoft here is some problem I need to refine this okay I will create one uh, a group specifically for in the same way uh, here is join PC okay now I will try to run it this is done it now I will check the properties of this PC there is a description this group is allowed to join the PC to domain joining okay now there is some more commands more thing get ad members select same account name for each we want to here is i want to add all members all it members to the microsoft here again i will repeat this here is and here is microsoft and i want here is all users from it group is available here I want to move these user to the join PC group how we can do it or either we can go up here here is the marketing and uh, I want to go all the users to uh, join PC group or collectors how we can do it how we can do it we just need to write join PC all the same accounts will be moved get ED group member who having the membership with Microsoft select their same account name for each you have to move or add to the another here is here is join PC I will check it all the members here also and I will check it here all members also now all the users who are member of Microsoft now the member of join PC2 now we will compare the two groups join PC if they are and then I will try this here is they having the equal equal status here is the equal if I want to go here join PC I will remove one user 115 I will remove this from this 
in membership this will show us there we go there is this is reside in the Microsoft but not in the joint PC I will go to the Microsoft now I will remove the 1110 I will remove this there we go apply ok now I will again run this command here is 1110 is placed in joint PC but 115 is in the Microsoft there is a sorting which having members are equal or not equal what's membership status here we go this is our management task for the groups we can add remove in the bulk our groups move join removing every kind of stuff you can do with the groups now it's time for the organizational units uh, we created organizational units search base filter every kind of stuff we did it I hope there is no problem for us if you want to remove now it's time to uh, cover the things how we can refine our you can specify one user you can remove the AD objects also uh, firstly I am going to focus on protection deletion uh, like this I will here is here is I will set ID object protection deletion is false now I will fall here is not done it now I try to protection deletion is set false and remove confirm false there is no way here is means to say this is having lots of more thing uh, like say confirmation is uh, true what will do us for and I will go up here here is this will try this is asking yes to all I hope that here we go and here is finance this is asking in the same way like that here is this is asking that use a subtree server here is this is removing all kind of object in a very quick manner now I will create the CLS type this here is our lesson for today uh, managing users computers creating every kind of stuff hopefully you will enjoy that a lot and uh, stay tuned with Microtex we will do it more stuff with PowerShell Thank you for all of you.